Today, we're going to dive into the innovations we are bringing in Spotify 14.2 and the value it provides in data wrangling, visual analytics, and administration. We made these enhancements to make your job easier and more efficient when analyzing data from multiple data sources in order to make it more convenient and efficient for any user to use Spotify and to make it easier for admins to roll out Spotify across the organization. Spotfire is a visual data science platform that lets people that are experts in the field combine advanced analytics and industry-specific visualization in order to solve complex business problems. Spotfire combines visualization, data preparation, and data science into one experience. That lets experts in the field solve analytic problems that the human mind or computers can't solve alone. With Spotfire, users can always go to the next level of analysis while staying inside Spotfire. One environment for all your analytics. Spotfire is for data intensive use cases with integrated data wrangling, advanced analytics with all types of data, even streaming data when needed. Spotfire combines powerful visualization with easy to use statistical calculations and machine learning capabilities that Typically, you would only find in complex statistical and data science focused software packages. We will continue making Spotfire more powerful, but not more complex. And Spotfire is enterprise scale. Many companies deploy Spotfire to thousands of users and use it for a wide range of use cases, such as root cause analysis, anomaly detection, process control, advanced geoanalytics use cases, etc. Spotfire is focused on solving analytical problems that are relevant for the industries it's used in. More than 100 accelerators give users a head start when it comes to solving their analytical problems with the help of special visualizations, calculations, and so on that suit the task at hand. When needed, users and partners can customize Spotfire further to fit exactly the needs in the specific process or industry in question. Spotify 14.2 is an innovation release. We used to call these mainstream, but we thought it more accurate to call these innovation releases for those of you that want to be on the latest and greatest of what Spotify has to offer. Innovation releases are supported until the next innovation release comes out, which happens several times a year. For those of you that don't want to or cannot upgrade that often, the long-term support releases are still the way to go. Spotify 14.0 is our latest long-term support release. But now, let's talk about what's new in Spotify 14.2. We have good news in the data wrangling space. We are introducing a new graphical view and editor of the relations between data tables in Spotify that makes it easier to analyze data in multiple data tables. Not to mention how much easier it becomes to understand how a complex analysis is set up. The Data Canvas now provides a visual graph that illustrates how data tables relate to each other and enables you to edit the data table relations. Relations in Spotify are used in order to connect two or more data tables so that marking, filtering, drill down works between those data tables, which means that you can analyze data in several tables in combination without having to physically join them. The new visual overview and editor of data relationships simplifies the configuration of the data table relations and makes it available in the Spotify web client. And there is also a very useful new feature for relations in Spotify 14.2. It's the ability to define relations between data tables using more than one column to define the relation. This is very helpful when analyzing data across several data tables that do not have any single column that represents the type of relation you want to use. Over the last year, we have continuously, for every release, added more web UIs, both in the installed application and the web client, many of them in the data wrangling space. And this new graphical view and editor is part of our strategy to make functionality easier to use, available in the web UI, and to add new features to make Spotify more powerful, all at the same time. On the data connectivity side, we have enhancements to OAuth 2 support and the integration with TIPCO data virtualization is also enhanced. 
When analyzing data using Microsoft SQL Server Connector, which is also used for Azure Synapse Analytics, there are now two new capabilities available. Most importantly, you can now use a secure new authentication method, OAuth2, which lets you use Azure as identity provider. This provides a convenient and secure login experience for the users. And we also added the ability to use custom connection properties. This may be useful for tweaking connection properties, configuring encryption, or other custom settings that the data source supports. So you can see the custom connection settings as a toolkit for the Spotfire administrator to leverage specific uh, configuration options for the data source. When using Spotfire together with typical data virtualization, you have all the data at your fingertips. You can search and browse the data views of TDV directly in Spotfire, and now we made it even easier to find the data that you need. When browsing the data views of TDV directly from the Spotfire user interface, you can directly see the description of the data view and which columns it contains in the details pane, which makes it faster and easier to find the right data for all users. In the visual analytics space, we have made enhancements to the new visualization configuration panel, which is in preview. The design goals for the new visualization properties panel is to make visualization creation and configuration easier, faster, more effective, and to unify the experience between the web and installed clients of Spotfire. The new experience has one consistent design across all visualization types. The panel is context aware, meaning that it shows properties applied to the selected visualization only. You can easier see how visualizations are configured and you just enrich visualizations by adding new properties. It is also searchable, so you can search to find properties and settings that are applied or that are applicable and that you like to add. The new experience is also more efficient as you can now configure multiple visualizations at the same time through multi-select or reuse specific configuration settings across the visualizations using drag and drop. Altogether, we think this makes the experience more intuitive and the capabilities of Spotfire more discoverable, both for new and experienced users. In Spotfire 14.2, there are a number of enhancements to the visualization properties panel, such as the column settings for the parallel coordinate plot, shape by, line connections for scatter plots, polygon border color, and line and point and weight. As I mentioned, the new visualization authoring experience is in preview. So this means that you have to opt in for the new experience. To enable it, the administrator of the Spotfire system has to set Enable Visualization Properties Panel Preference to True for your user group. It means that the visualization configuration framework is in place, but not all visualization properties are available just yet. So Legacy Property Dialog for the visualization remains available and you can use it side by side with the new experience. And also, we want to hear from you. We want to hear your feedback along the way. To make this easy, you have a link to post feedback right from the top banner on the new panel. This leads to a community page where you can leave feedback and suggestions for how we can make the visualization configuration experience even better. For you that makes sure that Spotfire is available to users in your organization, for you that install, deploy, and administer Spotfire, we have continued to make important administration functionality available in the web user interface, and we have also enhanced the ability to deploy Spotfire in any of the big cloud platforms. You can now manage library folder permissions from the new permissions tab in the details panel of the library view within the web administration pages of Spotfire. The new interface allows you to do the same permissions operations that previously were only available from the library administration tool in the installed client, which is one more step towards providing the full user experience of Spotfire available in the web browser. Spotfire uses a relational database for storage of the configuration. 
but also for the storage of Spotfire analyses, data and other assets that users create. Since enterprises have different preferred vendors and strategies, Spotfire provides a spectrum of options for where the library database can be deployed. You can choose among the three most used professional relational databases on-premise, or if you prefer to deploy on cloud, you have different options in any of the three major cloud service providers. This flexibility means that you can deploy your Spotfire system as you prefer, and with the flexibility to move between cloud providers as needed. And very related to this, a feature that has been around for quite some time, but not everybody knows about, is the ability to store the Spotify library content on an external storage instead of in the Spotify database. This will offload the Spotify database from storing large binary objects such as data files, analyses, etc., and only store the metadata about those in the library. Instead, the binary content can be stored in Amazon S3 in Azure Blob Storage or now new in Spotify 14.2 in Google Cloud Storage, which means that Spotify now supports external library storage for all three of the biggest cloud providers. Using the external storage is typically more cost efficient and has similar performance as using the Spotify library database to store your content. These options are available also regardless how you deploy Spotfire, on-premise or in a cloud platform. So this further reinforces Spotfire's cloud strategy, which is to give you all the flexibility you need to install Spotfire as you wish, in any cloud platform, in your own data center, using Kubernetes or traditional installation using virtual machines. For admins and developers, we have added REST APIs to replace some of the older APIs. Spotfire is very extensible and a customizable platform to the extent that you can build domain-specific analytic tools on top of Spotfire, which many partners and customers have done, or automate deployment and configuration of the Spotfire system itself. In order to enable automation of the configuration and deployment of Spotfire, we have API support for administration tasks, and this makes it easier to automatically deploy new Spotfire systems and migrate content between systems, such as during updates or in a development test production scenario. The Information Model REST API supports updates and redirects of the Information Model elements. And the new License Management REST API supports all operations in the existing License SOAP API, meaning that you can automate user license configuration, such as for automating onboarding of new users. SKIM is a standard for synchronizing users and groups of information between systems. Now in Spotify 14.2, we've added support for filtering when synchronizing the user directory. This is useful for synchronization of certain users or certain groups. You can add or exclude users or groups from the synchronization based on the attributes that you want. Finally, and very importantly, I want to make sure that you are aware of and take advantage of all the resources on our new community and on the spotfire.com website. The new Spotfire website provides easy access to all things Spotfire, demos, customer's use cases, documentation, blogs, ID portal, and the new Spotfire community. On the new community, you can discuss with us and other users, ask questions, and find articles about how to solve different types of analytic problems using Spotfire. And the community also has the new exchange, which is where you find assets that can help you solve analytical problems with Spotfire. Data functions that integrate statistics, machine learning, natural language processing, etc. directly in Spotfire. Visualization mods that lets you visualize data in new, often industry-specific ways. And full accelerators for solving industry-specific analytical problems. Thank you for joining this presentation and hope you will make good use of the new data relations overview, the folder permissions web UI and all the other features in Spotify 14.2 and not the least the new Spotify community. 
Hope to see you soon again.